Welcome, let's discuss the idea of Angle's form by intersecting chords. What would happen if two chords intersect with each other? Let's consider chord AB. And let's consider chord CD. In the intersection, we have created four different angles. The angle on the left, the top, to the right, and the bottom. In addition, we have cut circumference in four different arcs. The arc on the left, the top, to the right, and the bottom. And there exists a relationship between those angles that we have created and those arcs that we have created. If we consider one of the created angles, let's consider the angle on the left. Angle 1 is going to be equal to half of the sum of the opposite arc. Which in this case, what is opposite of angle 1 is the arc of AC, and what's on the opposite side of angle 1 is arc BD. And this is true for all the created angles in our intersection. So now if we consider angle 2, that is going to be equal to half of the sum of the opposite arcs. What is opposite of angle 2? It's arc AD. And what's on the opposite side of arc AD? It's arc CB. If we consider the angle on the right, let's call it angle 3. That is also going to be equal to half of the sum of the opposite arc. Which in this case, that will be arc BD. And that will be arc AC. And the same goes for the angle at the bottom. Let's call it angle 4. That is going to be equal to half of the sum of the opposite arc, which in this case is arc CB and arc AD. Let's explain why this relationship is true. Now let's consider one of those angles. Let's just consider angle 1. We want to show the reasoning as to why angle 1 it is equal to half the sum of the opposite arcs. Let's consider a chord that connects point A and D. And by doing so, we have also created two other angles. Let's call this angle 2, and let's call this angle 3. In addition, we have also created a triangle. And there exists a relationship between those three angles. Notice that angle 1 is the exterior angle of the triangle in yellow. Therefore, angle 1 is going to be equal to the summation of angle 2 and 3. If we just concentrate on angle 2, notice that that's an inscribed angle. Therefore, angle 2 is half the measurement of the opposite arc, which in this case is arc BD. Now, we concentrate on angle 3. Notice that angle 3 is also an inscribed triangle, which we know that is going to be equal to half the opposite arc, arc CA. So now we know the measurement of angle 2 in terms of an arc, and we also know the measurement of angle 3 in terms of an arc. If we combine those two statements, with the relationship that angle 1 was equal to angle 2 plus angle 3, we're going to get our result. For angle 2, let's substitute the relationship in terms of its arc. And for angle 3, let's substitute the relationship in terms of its arc. And within this relationship, if we factor out the 1 half, we're going to get our result which is exactly what we wanted to show. And this same reasoning can be repeated to show the relationship of the other three angles that we created with the intersecting chords. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.